So, yeah, I guess we're going to be uh, checking out a mod today known as gen Genetically Modified Overkill. It's just allows you to combine uh, two different carrier um, characters. And I think uh, includes some uh, content uh, that you can unlock for playing with certain combinations. Uh, currently, 13 items and 5 weapons according to the mod page, and there's more to come. And the mod also requires uh, standard challenges. Uh, Rotellus and the uh, contents loader. Actually, I think it. You know, it's funny. The required items on the Steam page, uh, under that section says it's banded challenges, well, the, uh, mod dependencies section of the, uh, of what's on the mod author's uh, side of the thing, uh, calls it extended challenges, not its banded, uh, challenges. Oh well. So let's just uh, get this run started. So let's combine Multitaster with, say, uh, Ranger. And let's just uh, see the uh, Chaos Unfold. So yeah, and uh, I guess it also uh, comes with some debuffs. So let's uh, go with SMGs. And since this is uh, supposed to be a mod review, so, well, actually a mod run. So let's just uh, go for like. Thing you do. And yeah, I think we start with the uh, pistol from the Ranger class. And I think uh, we get 12 weapons for the multi acid class, so that's gonna be fun to play around with. So yeah, I guess this is the thing I'm doing now. And just when I thought I was out, too. Oh well, so let's grab some the range damage. And the SMG and, uh, trash the pistol. So, yeah, hmm. And I guess we're gonna have to deal with, uh, plus 15% enemies, so I don't think we need any more, uh, gentle aliens. And let's grab the SMG and save that SMG and those glasses. And move on to A2. So, yeah. So, I think I might end up checking on uh, what's on the mod page for the, uh, well, or chop for the uh, potato game. And maybe if Vampire Survivors uh, has that support in, but oh well. I don't think Vampire Survivors has a uh, mod support. Hmm. And let's just grab the attack speed, because why not? And the SMG and the glasses, and save the butterfly for later. Yeah, because I don't think uh, we're getting that uh, extra range damage from the Ranger class. It was supposed to. Oh well. At least if we uh, were playing uh, Ranger class normally. No, I'm. Don't know why there's no ability to just turn off a mod if you don't want to play with it on. And currently in Potato, because uh, yeah, you have to un uninstall the mods that you don't want to play with, since uh, that can be a bit of a pain to do. Anyways, uh, let's grab the armor and the lives. I'll oh, actually the speed and that butterfly and that bad. And save that SMG and the Lumberjack shirt for later. So, let's move on to A4. Yeah, I don't normally show you uh, the first three waves because they generally tend to go uh, the same way every time. You just stomp around the map and just uh, slaughter everything in your path, as you often do in Potato. Oh boy. So, let's see now. And let's hopefully get that three and get nothing outside of a consumable health item. So yeah, let's just grab some more luck. And that SMG and that uh, lumberjack shirt and save the glasses and take the lemonade. And we will. And save that SMG too. Oh yeah. Oh, it's the range damage modifications are increased by 50%. Uh, that's what I meant. Oh well. On to A5. So, 
So, yeah. I just, uh... I think I might end up checking out Vampire Survivors, because I don't think I've played that game yet on this channel. Yeah, I haven't. Oh, boy. Oh, hey, Jared's a great. So, get back here, you. And, uh, let me grab the trait like so. And, yeah, that's a crate grab. Then, let's grab some, uh, more harvesting. Not that we had any to begin with, so let's, uh, grab some more attack speed. And that SMG and the glasses, and hopefully also get a sunglasses and, uh, save the lens. Because, uh, sunglasses equals, uh, more damage. But also less, uh, armor. So I guess I'm gonna have to balance that, that carefully. Oh boy. You know, I'm pretty sure there's a mod that just, uh, adds a small bit of damage for every, uh, crit chance, uh, that you have over a hundred. In fact, I know there's a mod like that. Or two. And one of them is extremely overpowered. So that's gonna be fun to do. We run in. Although I don't think I'm gonna, uh, make that one an endless run. And again, I don't really play endless runs on YouTube for a reason. And that's mostly because, uh, I don't want to sit around for like an hour and a half playing Brotato, uh, at once. So, let's just, uh, grab the Hedgehog. Well, actually recycle it. I should say, and grab some more quick chance and some more range. And yeah, 50% increase to range damage, so let's grab the lens. And they just see re roll. And re roll. And his glasses. And they just save that SMG 3 for later and grab that SMG. And there's uh, nothing here. Aside from that insanity, but uh, that removes uh, damage percentage, and I don't really want to do that right now, so, uh, yeah. On to A7. Yeah, so, let's just, uh, stomp around the map and slaughter everything in our path, uh, like so. It's probably one of the most broken weapons in the games, uh, if you can, uh, get a good run for it. Yeah, I wonder how many times I've gone SMG only, uh, at this point. Oh boy. I checked, but well, I don't want to, uh, end up dying because I got distracted with my phone. Or checking, uh, YouTube for that information, but oh well. And wait completed. And let's grab the blindfold because that's more crit chance. And the armor, and that SMG 3, and nothing here, and that SMG, and that dangerous bunny, and save that SMG. I seem to be saying that a lot. So on to wave 8. And I hope I get some more damage, uh, percentage increases. Oh boy, because, or at least some vigilante rings. And that's the first rate of this wave. Yeah, because Vigilante Reigns are kind of actually rather handy to, uh, have as this character, because they just increase damage percentage, um, by, like, 3%. Oh, boy. And that's the wave uh, complete, so let's recycle the goat stall, because uh, that does nothing for us. And let's grab some more damage percentage points. Like so. And I guess the crit chance. And that SMG and that tree. And that SMG and that SMG, and we roll. And save that 
Tardite Raid uh, for later and move on. And forget that I don't have a pity paint. Oh well. So yeah, I guess it's the Speedy Boys wave time. So let's just worry about surviving that wave. Like we're currently doing right now. And did they paint the first straight in this wave? Oh boy. And just dodge all of that nonsense. Because we killed it too quickly for it to do anything to us, so that's nice. So yeah, we've completed, so let's grab the wheelbarrow. And I guess that speed. And it tire died raid. We roll, we roll again, and we roll again, and grab that S and well, combine these two S and Gs, and grab the S and G two, the tree, and the glasses, and hmm, nothing here. Grab that S and G and the Cyclops worm, and move on because I can't afford anything else. So yeah, on twelve ten. Light so. And they're just uh, slaughter everything in our path until the next wave. And then the next wave, and the next wave after that, and the next wave after that, and the next wave after that, and the next wave after that. Until you beat the game. Oh boy. Or at least the run. Although I suppose both uh, sentences are correct. So let's just dodge all of that nonsense and rather kill it before it could kill us. And just uh, no fire shields for no good reason. And complete the wave. And recycle the padding. And I think grab some more attack speed. And some more armor. And the garden. And the crown. And it is the scope and save the recycling machine for later. So yeah, on to wave 11, which is a horde level. And that's gonna be fun to deal with. Hopefully we can keep up with it. Which uh, we seem to be doing quite well. So let's just stop around the map and slaughter everything in our path. Again. And let's just waste our shield for no good reason, because our SMGs were not, uh, strong enough to stop that. Ow. Oh well, I think there's enough conceivable heal light items to just, uh, heal us up real quick. Anyways, even if we do take some unfortunate damage... So yeah, we've completed like so, and I guess grab some more luck. And the recycling machine. And hmm, I guess uh, grab that, grab that SMG too, like so, and that dangerous bunny, and save that wheelbarrow, and save that SMG three, and move on to A12. Like so.
and do the first crate, like so, and move on. Hmm, I think that move it might be a bit on the loud side. So let's just uh, go into the menu, like so, and I guess, uh, drop the music down a bit, like so. And now the sound effects are too loud. Oh dear. And just waste our shield like so. And hope for a crate. And maybe a few level ups. Like so. And I wish I had a Cephid's Relic right now. And get the second crater this wave. And hope for a bandana. But I'll take the silver bullet. And recycle the reposty, I think. Oh well. Let's join in in the recycle bin. And let's grab the lifesteal. And I guess uh, that SMG3 and that wheelbarrow. And I guess that SMG2. Hmm, you know, uh, does having negative re HP regeneration actually do damage to you? You know what, let's find out. And grab that shady potion. Oh, it just uh, makes it so you don't regenerate HP at all, unless uh, you have lifesteal. That is, so let's take this dope. And get nothing else, because I want to save the last of that money. Or other materials, whatever it's called. Oh boy. I mean, it's stuff that uh, lets you buy stuff from a shop, so I think it fits the definition of money. So let's just stop around this map, uh, like so, and move on. And just take some unnecessary damage, and hmm. But at least uh, we're good at healing uh, unnecessary damage now. At least I thought I was. Oh boy. So yeah, I guess uh, that was the first run as uh, a Ranger Multitasker combo. And yeah, it did not end very well for us, cause yeah. Anyways, uh, links for this mod will be in the description below. And all of its requirements are linked on its mod page under required items. So yeah, because uh, Steam will actually not let you um, install it until you have everything installed. Well, or at least just take you to a stream to make sure you have everything installed, so that's nice. Although I think uh, Potato needs some way of just turning off mods without uninstalling them. Uh, of course, that's just my opinion. Anyways, uh, like and subscribe. If you want to see more from me, and I guess I'll see you in the next one whenever that one drops. So, yeah. Bye.